And now, your first alert Storm Center forecast. Thank you for joining us tonight on 5 News at 6. Meteorologist Brian Donigan with you. For the next five hours, we'll be dealing with uh, some isolated showers and thunderstorms during the evening hours. So at 7, 8 o'clock, just watch out for those. But we will dry out overnight and we'll fall into the mid 50s by 11 o'clock or so. Now, on our live pinpoint Doppler radar right now, you can see some spotty showers moving southeastward through north central West Virginia, but these will fade away once the sun sets just after 8 o'clock. It was a breezy day today. Here's some of our peak wind gusts. Buck Cannon, 37 mile per hour peak gust over there, 31 here in Clarksburg and also in Oakland, Maryland, 26 in Elkins, 23 in Parkersburg, and a 21 mile per hour gust up in University City. Wind gusts right now have slowed down a little bit, 24 mile per hour gusts right now in Clarksburg and Fairmont, 17 mile per hour gusts at the 6 o'clock hour in Morgantown. Now if you stick around, we'll talk about some severe weather threats later in the week coming up in your first alert forecast. And now, your first alert storm center forecast. Thank you for joining us on 5 News at 6 on the Saturday evening. Meteorologist Brian Donning with you. It's going to be a chilly night for tonight, so grab the jacket when you're heading out. Some isolated showers and maybe a rumble of thunder this evening, but that will fade away. We'll be left with just partly cloudy skies overnight and winds will diminish as well. But like I said, grab that jacket for later on. It will turn chilly overnight down to 37 in Davis, 39 in Kingwood, 41 in Grafton, and 40 over in West Union overnight tonight. Now, if you take a look at your weather headlines, it's going to be a dry and mild day for your Sunday, so no rain to worry about for tomorrow, but there will be rain to worry about every day next week. There's at least showers in the forecast every day of the seven-day forecast except for uh, Sunday. So enjoy tomorrow while it's dry, and some flooding will be possible uh, later next week as well, especially by the middle of the week when all that rain just has nowhere to go from piling up all week. Now, if you take a look at your live pinpoint Doppler radar, there are some showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder in this moving southeastward through north central West Virginia, particularly across Harrison and Mon counties and Marion County as well. These will fade away after sunset, so if you have plans later on, it is looking pretty good outside. Right now outside, 70 degrees, nice evening out there, 69 up in Morgantown, 67 over in Elkins at the 6 o'clock hour. Now we take a look at your future cast through the overnight hours. Any showers break up, just partly cloudy skies overnight, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning when you're waking up. Plenty of sunshine out there, just a few clouds, that will be the story for most of the day. 12 o'clock, more in the way of sunshine, then clouds, just a few clouds like I said. 5 o'clock for dinner, maybe a few more clouds around, but still plenty of sunshine. So get out and enjoy Sunday because some showers will be arriving on Monday. We're dry Sunday night, Monday morning, 8 o'clock, dry for the morning commute. But as you, you'll see some showers come up here on Futurecast by 2 o'clock on Monday. And these will move northeastward through the day. There could be showers around on Monday morning, but steadier rain is likely in the afternoon. Now, for tomorrow, 67 degrees for the high, sunshine, few clouds, dry day. Get out and enjoy that. It's looking like a fantastic day to end the weekend. Get to 67 also in Grafton and Philippi, 64 in Morgantown, and low 70s in Sutton, Glenville, and Harrisville on Sunday. Now, here's the seven-day forecast. Showers and storms on the forecast Monday and Tuesday. There's a low chance of severe weather both of those days as well. Just wind damage, if, if anything, but is a low chance. Wednesday is going to be the rainiest day of the week, and that's when we're going to be watching out for that flooding. Highs in the low 70s then. A bit cooler for Thursday. A few showers around, not as widespread of a rain. Maybe some sun, too. Then we're even cooler for Friday and Saturday. Temperatures back in the 50s with more spotty showers in the forecast. And now, your first alert storm center forecast. Thank you for joining us again on 5 News at 6. We're going to have uh, a low risk of severe weather on a couple days this week. Those days will be Monday with a low risk from some thunderstorms. There could be some wind damage in some spots, but very low risk, even lower risk for Tuesday of that happening. Now, on Wednesday, I'm not expecting anything in the way of thunder, just a soaking rain, but that soaking rain could cause some flash flooding especially uh, in some of the low-lying areas and if you live near any streams. Now here's how much rain you would need in one hour to get a flash flood. Here in Harrison County, we need about 1.2 inches of rain in one hour to cause a flash flood. Up in Marion County, one inch. Wetzel County, 1.4 inches. Randolph County, 1.3. So basically just over an inch of rain in one hour will cause some flash flooding. And the day I'm most worried about that is Wednesday. So we have a couple days to watch the forecast more, but we'll talk more about the forecast coming up towards the end of the show. Stick around. 
to Brian, tomorrow's really our best day of this week, isn't it? Yeah, there's rain in the forecast every day of the next seven, except for tomorrow. So I, I hope you get the chance to get out and enjoy tomorrow because it's going to be a great day. Upper 60s, even some low 70s in spots. Sunshine, just a few clouds out there and less wind than we saw during the day today as well. So great day for Sunday. Then we have showers and thunderstorms to deal with on Monday and Tuesday. Low risk of severe weather both of those days, but any severe weather would just come in the way of some isolated wind damage. So not too big of a deal for severe weather. Wednesday, there is a low threat of flooding. Any, uh, I'm not expecting anything in the way of thunder, just some rain, but any heavier downpours could cause some flash flooding if we get a quick inch of rain in less than an hour. Then some less rain, still showers though, but less in the way of rain for Thursday and Friday. But we cool off in the 50s by Friday and Saturday. And we may start to see a little bit more in the way of sunshine by Saturday, but temperatures only in the 50s. I mean, we're in May by Thursday and the temperatures are getting colder. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of backwards, unfortunately. I feel like that's just how it's been going lately. <laughs> this winter just will not give up, will yeah. it? I, I hope it finally does. <laughs> I mean, the rain, it's going to be warm on those yeah. days, but then as soon as the rain comes to an end, in the end of the week, we cool off. So well, hopefully can't the, win. Hopefully the following week's nice. Hopefully. It's getting into May. It's usually a nice, a nice month of weather, so hopefully it comes true this year, too. All right. Well, thanks so much, and thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Until then, have a great night.